friends. Today we are making a nighttime scene with fireworks over the water. So I'm using blue, two shades of blue, red, white, and black. I'm going to start with my black and I'm going to make a hill. And it is, I would say, okay, so here's halfway of our paper. And that's probably the top of the hill. So I'm just going to come down a little bit lower and I'm going to make a line right about there. Hopefully you can see that. And it's going to go all the way across. It's okay if it's not perfect. We're going to be adding all kinds of colors to the water down here. Okay, so now I'm going to go up about an inch and I'm going to make a bumpy hill going down until it gets very small like that. And on this side, it's going to be very short. Okay, then you can go ahead with your black, color it in. Okay, we're going to color in this space too. Sometimes I like to change direction to make sure I get good coverage. So maybe I'll go in one direction and then go back over it in the opposite direction. A little bit more here. It's very, very short in the middle. So I'll give you a minute to go ahead and finish your hills. We also need white. My white rolled away. Okay. Now I'm going to take, we're going to be using two shades of blue. So I'm going to start with the darker blue. And I have my paper off today so I can turn it on its side. And I'm going to lightly start filling in the sky just on this side right now. So I'm going to go all the way up to the corner. I'm only working on this side. I'm going to take it all the way down to the hill. If you get it on top of the hill, that's okay. You can always take black and cover it up. And then on this side, I'm just going to go just above the hill. Not filling in the entire sky. If 
There we go. So just like that. I'm going to switch to my lighter blue and go back over this a little bit. You could take your finger and smudge it then. Gonna get messy today. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to my dark blue. We are going to lightly go side to side like this. Not pushing too hard. And over here, I want it just mostly on the edges. Side to side. I'm not filling in the whole thing, so you can see some of that black peeking through. Watch me do this first before you do it. I wanna show you something. Okay, do you notice that it kinda of goes like this and then it gets more narrow on the corner? Try to do that. Do that a little bit on this side too. And then I'm gonna blend it with my finger. Hold your paper down so that it doesn't slide around. Okay, there we go. So we have a little bit of blue in the water. You can go over it again to make it stand out a little bit more after you blend it with your finger. Just side to side. Okay, now this is going to be a fun part. We're going to be doing fireworks in the sky. So I'm going to start with my red. And we are going to, let's do a red one like right here. So you can start with a dot so that you know where, to, where the center of the firework is. So I'm going to start with a little red dot there. And then I'm going to keep putting my oil pastel on the dot as I pull away from it. It should make the shape of a circle, but we're not going to draw a circle. So let me show you first. So I put my oil pastel on it and I pull away. And I pull away and I pull away. And some of them are gonna be short, some of them are gonna be long. Like that. Oops. 
if you get any big clumps, just wipe it off. Okay. So every time I start, I put it on the circle, pull away. Like that. Okay, I want to I want it to stand out more, so I'm gonna go over this again darker. Just layering more color on it. Now I'm going to add some white to it to make it stand out even more. So you could do some white in between, some on top. Like that. Remember, don't make them all the same length. Some are short, some are long. Put a few more reds in there. So after I did the white, I just went back through with a little bit more red. Okay, so my next one, I'm gonna use the light blue and I'm gonna make it a little bit different, this firework. So we're gonna make, they kind of remind me of snowflakes actually, but it's a firework. We're gonna do it a little bit lower down here. So again, you start at the center and you pull away. They're gonna be little, little clusters. So I do one like that, okay? And then right next to it, another one. And then another one near that. It's like one of those fireworks that go up in the sky and then it looks like once it explodes, it looks like there's like a bunch of them. That's what we're doing. Okay, so then after I do these three like this, then I put little lines like clusters, so one, two, three, four, three, some coming down, okay, and then we want it to look like it shot up in the sky. So from here, I'm going to make like three lines. One that goes from the hill up. Another one. And one more. Okay. So we have our three lines. And then we're going to switch to the darker blue when you're ready. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of dark blue next to that on top of the, those three lines. Okay, and then we're going to add some of this darker blue on some of the light blue next to it.
a little bit on top of the light blue because that looks pretty when they blend. Okay, and my red one, we forgot to make the line. So we will go ahead and make a line and it will just come, let's see, it will go from the hill up. Like that. Okay, so hopefully you're ready for the next one. Let's use some white and we're going to add some dots first on these two. So I'm just going to make, watch me do this first before you start. So do you see how I'm like putting some dots inside or kind of closer to the shorter lines than out? They're not all in the same place. So we're doing that with white. Lots of little twinkles in the sky. I'm going to do the same thing to the edges of the sky over here. Just really small. In fact, you could just kind of dot it like that. Because this one is further away. So I want them teeny, teeny, tiny. Doesn't that look pretty? Okay. And then let's try a white firework too. So this one, it's gonna go from the hill, shoom, up. And then I'm going to go up just a little bit higher. And then this one, we'll just keep making it go down, 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 down. Like that. Okay, so after you make all your little bursts, then we're going to do those tiny little dots again.
And then let's go ahead and make some little red dots. I'm not making as many, just a few. here too. And some blue ones. Fun. It looks like a little party in the sky. Oops. If it breaks, it's okay. Just keep going. The blue ones. Put a couple of red ones around the sky, too. Okay, so now we want, our sky looks very happy and fun. We want a reflection in the water. So I'm gonna take the red since this one was red. And again, we're going side to side. I'm gonna start with it a little bit thinner and then it's gonna go thicker. So start here. like that. Okay, see all my red lines? And again, there's it's not totally filled in. There's black in between. And it's not all one one length. See, it's almost like zigzags there. Okay, then I'm going to take my light blue right here. And on this one, I want some dark blue in it too. And then we have our, oops, our white one. Right. I hope you guys are having fun with this because I am. Okay, so I'm taking the black and you know how we didn't put anything here and here. I'm going to just add a little bit of black to the water. It's okay if they overlap a little bit and touch. So in between all of those, just adding a little bit of black. Side to side, it'll look a little crazy if you go up and down because the water flows this way, right? Okay, and then in this blue, I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of shadow too. So we'll go under here where the hill is. And under this hill. And then let's go ahead and add a little bit more blue in here. We'll do another layer of the dark blue. Okay. 
I'll make that black blend a little more. kind of filling in any other spaces with this dark blue. Okay. So go ahead and take a, you know, take a look at it. See if there's anywhere you need another dot or another burst of firework light make sure your hill is all filled in make sure your water has colors overlapping and then once you're happy with it we are all finished thanks for doing art with me today i hope you had fun have a great day bye